Can impairment losses be reversed? Well, the answer to that question is no, and potentially yes, but there's a limit. So what do I mean by no? Well, with goodwill, if you've written down goodwill, an impairment loss on goodwill cannot be reversed. End of. That's what the standard says. If the reputation has been lost, if the goodwill has been written down, you can never restore, you can never reverse the impairment loss on goodwill. But for other assets, the answer is maybe yes. Providing that the circumstances that caused the original impairment loss to occur themselves have been reversed. So maybe the impairment loss occurred because the value in use fell, because there was a forecast that future profits, future cash flows were going to be small. And now there's an economic revival and that value in use has risen again. And in those circumstances, that justifies the reversal of an impairment loss. But we've got to be really careful that we don't um, bring the asset back above its value, that it above the value that it would have been had there been no first impairment loss. So in a simple example that I can explain without without making it complicated and without bringing depreciation. If you have an asset in the books at 10 and you write it down to eight, the impairment loss is two. If the recoverable amount two years later, three years later becomes 11, you can't reverse, you can't reinstate it at 11. You've got to keep it down at 10. Um, now, what I've done there is totally ignore the concept of depreciation. What you would have to do if the asset was being depreciated would be to work out what the carrying value of the asset would have been if the asset had never been impaired. And that then provides a natural cap, cap as to how much you can do a reversal of an impairment loss. So it's a trick. It's rare because normally we talk about writing down assets with impairment losses. And when you write down an asset with an impairment loss, you're charging profit, you're crediting the asset. And what you're doing here with a reversal of impairment loss is exactly the opposite. So the asset is going up, yeah, and we're crediting uh, the P&L. No cash flows are involved. Thank you very much.